This is one of my favorite recipes of all time. Trust me, you need to try this one. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Now I'm gonna show you my process for making the most delicious, tender, melt-in-the-mouth pork belly. That's all coated in a lovely, sticky, spicy, and sweet glaze. It's gonna be so good. So let's get cooking. Now I've got about a kilo or 2.2 pounds of sliced rindless pork belly here. Now you can usually buy it in the supermarket like this, or you can buy a large piece of pork belly and slice it yourself or ask the butcher to do it for you. So we're gonna start by boiling this pork belly. Add the pork belly slices to a large pan. I'm gonna be using my cast iron pan for this, but any heavy based pan with a lid will do just fine. Pour over a litre, which is about four cups and a third of hot chicken stock. Then add in a tablespoon of minced ginger, three roughly chopped garlic cloves, a tablespoon of rice wine and a tablespoon of sugar. Stir together and then bring to the boil. Then place the lid on and turn down the heat and simmer for two hours. Now this two hour cooking stage is really crucial to ensure that pork is lovely and tender and it'll also start to render down some of that fat. Now you can also do this for two hours in a moderate oven or you can do it in the slow cooker for about four to five hours on high or six to seven hours on low. After two hours, the pork should be ready. So turn off the heat and remove the pork from the liquid. the pork belly dry using some paper towels. Now you can save that leftover stock to make a really great ramen or soup. Now if you wanted to make this recipe ahead, this is a really good stage to stop, cool, cover and refrigerate or freeze the meat and then you can carry on with the recipe later. Okay, now we're gonna make that delicious, sticky, spicy glaze. In a small bowl, add one tablespoon of oil, a pinch of salt and pepper, a tablespoon of minced ginger, one red chilli that's been finely chopped, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of light brown sugar, three tablespoons of dark soy sauce, and one teaspoon of lemongrass paste. Mix it all together and put to one side. Now we're gonna slice the pork up into nice bite-sized pieces, which would make this perfect as an appetizer. Add a tablespoon of oil to a frying pan and heat over a medium to high heat. Add the pork belly to the frying pan. Then sprinkle over a pinch of salt and pepper. Fry for a few minutes, turning regularly until the pork starts to turn golden. Be careful at this point as the pork can splatter. Now pour that glaze over the pork. Continue to cook for a few more minutes until the pork starts to look sticky and dark and that glaze coats the pork. Serve this as a truly memorable appetizer, or you could serve it as the main course along with some egg fried rice. Or you could even not slice up the pork and make the most amazing burger ever. This is so delicious, I guarantee you'll want to make it time and time again. Oh. Mm.